This will be the only video you'll need to watch to secure your online accounts. I'll share the top 5 things to do to make them safe. Let's start with password managers. Getting your passwords in order is the first thing to do. It sounds boring, but more than 75% of internet users reuse passwords and I think there is one reason. It's just too hard to remember so many complex word combinations. Password Manager is a great solution to this problem. It can generate and store unique passwords for each account and I can access it only with my fingerprint or master password. I use NordPass, but there are many other great options that you can use. It's like a digital wall for your passwords. Keep them safe and unique. Next up is Multi-Factor Authentication, or MFA. If somebody gets your password, you are doomed, right? Well, not really, if you have multi-factor authentication enabled. It works much more simply than it sounds. If somebody tries to log into your account, MFA will ask for confirmation on your device, meaning that they will either have to steal your phone or computer or other authentication device. I recommend using the Google Authenticator app. It's simply to set up and works fairly well. With these two things sorted out, you are already much safer than the majority of online users. Our third essential tool is antivirus. Now, this might seem like a tech from the 2000s, but yes, antivirus is still a thing and you need one. There was a research done that says that there are more than 1 billion malware programs on the internet. If you ever go further than the first page of the Google, it's likely you will end up on the pages that have risks of infecting your device. I personally use Surfshark antivirus. Antivirus software is designed to detect, prevent and remove malicious software from your computer. It scans your files, programs, and system memory for viruses, worms, trojans, and other types of malware. Now, let's talk about firewall. It's not about detecting malware. It's about preventing it from entering your device. Think of it as a barrier that guards your incoming and outgoing internet traffic. It works by examining the data that comes in and out from your computer and network, deciding whether it's safe or not. It's like your device's guard against external threats. And the last but not least is VPN. Most people who want to browse the internet privately just use an incognito mode and call it a day. The truth is, it isn't all that private. In fact, service providers, employers, the government and possible snoops all still have access to your users' online activity and data. A VPN, on the other hand, creates a secure tunnel, making your data inaccessible to snoops and hackers. I personally use Surfshark VPN. It also blocks malicious ads and banners on websites. So before we wrap up, here are some additional tips to enhance your cybersecurity. Check and adjust your privacy settings across all platforms. Use a private browser like DuckDuckGo for added protection. Opt for a privacy-conscious search engine. Avoid public Wi-Fi or use a VPN when you can't. Only download trustworthy apps. Guard your personal information like a treasure. And there you have it, the top five essential cybersecurity tools and some crucial tips to keep you safe in the digital world. Remember, being aware of these tools is not enough. You need to use them to protect yourself. Also, check my video about data brokers here to know how your private details are being sold. Thanks for watching and as always, surf safe and stay incognito.